Today we are making small batch pumpkin pie. It's the perfect way to enjoy Thanksgiving pumpkin pie without having to make an entire pie. And the best part is there is no crust involved. Hi, I'm Leanne from yourhomebasemom.com and today we are making a pie that is easy and delicious and it's for two people. It is so easy to make, you don't have to wait for Thanksgiving to enjoy pumpkin pie. At our house, we have our pumpkin pie lovers and our non-pumpkin pie lovers. So an entire pumpkin pie is just way too much pie. And this is where individual pumpkin pies come to the rescue. Let's get started. So we're gonna use these individual little ramekins to make our individual pumpkin pies. And they measure about three inches across. To start, we're gonna take some pumpkin pie puree now this is different than the canned pumpkin pie filling you can find in the grocery store. So make sure that it's pumpkin pie puree. And we're gonna use a third of a cup. And we're gonna put all this into a saucepan over medium heat. We're also gonna add in a third of a cup of brown sugar, or that's a quarter of a cup of brown sugar. A third of a cup of evaporated milk Smush that around a bit. And then we're going to add in two teaspoons of cornstarch and our seasoning. And I'm using three quarters of a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Now, if you don't have pumpkin pie spice, you can use a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, an eighth a teaspoon of nutmeg, and an eighth a teaspoon of ginger. We're going to stir that up and then over a medium heat, we're just gonna cook it until it starts to thicken. Okay, so after about three to four minutes, it's gonna thicken up. You see, nice and thick. And then we're gonna pour it into our individual little ramekins. You just wanna divide the amount in between the two. It's starting to smell like Thanksgiving. So ready to go into the oven, 350 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes. And to make sure they're done, just use a toothpick, stick it in the middle, and the toothpick should come out clean. All right, after our individual pumpkin pies have cooled, we're gonna, we're ready for a taste test, but first, all pumpkin pie must have some whipped cream. So I'm gonna add some sweetened whipped cream on here. Now, if you want some information on how to make sweetened whipped cream, I'll put a link to a recipe on the blog that you can check out. You could also use the whipped cream out of a can if you want. Well, we're just gonna take our sweetened whipped cream, add a little dollop on top, and then the taste test. It has a nice same smooth texture as pumpkin pie, and it tastes like pumpkin pie. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. You can find the recipe for this individual pumpkin pie in the description down below. And be sure and check out all my other small batch recipes here on YouTube by clicking over here. And as always, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel by clicking down below and also turn on that little notification bell so that you'll be notified every time a new recipe drops here on YouTube.